months in and out of the hospital, three brain surgeries. The road to recovery for Annabelle Sen is long. They took off part of her skull, about a third of her skull, called a hemicraniectomy, and that saved her life. 24-year-old Annabelle Sen was walking with her boyfriend in New York in January when, according to this newly filed lawsuit, she was struck by a heavy wooden lounge chair that fell from the terrace of the 12th floor penthouse apartment of the 15 Union Square West condominium. Witnesses described that stormy day. It was a huge uh, damage to her, to her head. And she was passed out and then people thought she was dead and then all of a sudden she started screaming. She, like she, she woke up and she was in a panic. Sen's parents now suing the owner of the penthouse, Philadelphia 76ers co-owner Michael Rubin, along with management and owners of the building itself. Her lawyer, Benedict Morelli, says Sen had to undergo emergency brain surgery to save her life. One of the terrace lounge chairs from the high winds blew off the terrace, came down 12 floors and hit her in the head. She's lucky she's alive. A spokesperson for Michael Rubin not going into detail due to the pending lawsuit, but telling me Rubin has not lived in the penthouse for years and was renting it out to two individuals, both named as defendants. The complaint also notes a $6,250 citation the condo was issued by the city of New York following the incident, reading wooden lawn furniture left on patio was unsecured. While Morelli says negligence of others, including Ruben, is to blame. She had her entire life ahead of her at 24 years old. And it's a tragic thing when, when people are so careless and so negligent that they can change the course of someone's life in an instant. Sen, originally from Connecticut, has since moved back in with her parents in Greenwich. She's had to quit her job and put a master's program at Harvard on hold. Her parents hoping for a full recovery, but it isn't guaranteed. They're very, you know, upset, but, but obviously they're rooting very hard for her to regain the Annabelle Sen who they knew. Um, and she is... Zania Maldonado, Fox 61 News.